Warriors rise. Inflation going to bring the middle class to their knees. Warriors, we are in a critical, critical time right now. Now, you need to understand, you need to understand, excuse me, what is happening so that when you look this way, you know there's another narrative going on this way. This is all by design to move us into a brand new monetary system. So I'm going to show you the narrative around inflation, the players that are being moved around the game. And then I'm going to show you facts, figures, numbers, logic on why I think the XRP ripple case and the SEC is being held up. Because once that case is released, money is going to move at the speed of light. This is an internet moment. This is an internet moment. Just like the 2000s, we are experiencing the very same things. The government is worried about bank runs. And I'm going to show you exactly why at the end with facts, figures, numbers, logic, based on documentation to show you why I believe companies like Ripple XRP, XLM, companies like VeChain for supply chain management, and all these companies that interconnect like ISO 2022, the messaging system that are connecting R3, Algorand, Ripple, right? Stellar, Ripple, Stellar. We got Rip, uh, we can talk about Ripple, sorry, Stellar XLM. I'm going to break that all down for you. And I'm going to show you some actual documents to help you understand a little bit more of what's happening. Okay. So who am I? So why am I qualified to talk about this? So I'm coach JV. I'm the top health mindset and crypto coach in the world. I've been featured in many magazines worldwide to include business insider. I'll be speaking with them again today. Magazines and top publications around the world come to me due to number one, my authenticity, Number two is my knowledge around cryptocurrency. And number three, my no bullshit, my no bullshit attitude around, hey, I'm here to protect my family and my warriors. And I'm not here to feed you FUD. I'm just here to give you an unbiased point of view on what's actually happening within the world. Now, my unbiased comes from looking at both sides of the coin. I don't think that anybody, anybody is here for our greater good except me right? And a higher power. So I created what's called the 3T Warrior Academy. What is the 3T Warrior Academy? Crypto education, community, because you need to be around like-minded people. So if it's confusing for you, or you're a beginner in crypto, or you're really trying to understand the space, the best way to get wrecked is to look at all these different things. I siloed all the information into one academy to make it palatable, easy to use, and help you move forward. So www.3twarrior.com. If you go in there seven days, you're not fully satisfied, we have 100% of your money back. We're not playing games with your money. It's our time to move forward right now. So let's jump right into it. 25% of Americans are delaying their retirement due to inflation survey. Well, hell yes. Their money is literally shrinking in their 401k. What I mean by this is because the value of the money, it costs so much to buy gas. It costs so much to buy food. And our president, President Biden, is sitting here. He's about to, you know, he's pushing the buck onto Jerome Powell. Now you have the president, the White House, right? The Federal Reserve. Now, the Federal Reserve is not part of the government. They're a private entity that is supposed to work with uh, job create or job stability, financial stability, right? They were designed to protect us from the evil forces, right? <laughs> but we know it's a group of rich bankers that met on Jekyll Island that move our monetary system any way they want to. The presidents aren't even supposed to, I think, meet with the Federal Reserve heads, but they do anyways. So we're going to watch a video on that, and then I'm going to show you what I think is happening within our world. So America's fina uh, finances are being squeezed as inflation pushes up prices on things such as rent, groceries, and gasoline. This is your mom, your dad. This is you. So as you sit there and you're just over broke your job, your pay is actually going down every single day. Day these prices go up. As a result, one quarter of Americans will have to delay their retirement, according to BMO, Real Finance Progress Index, a quarterly survey conducted between March 30th and March, uh, or excuse me, April 25th. Putting off their retirement plans is mostly due to disruptive savings and increased prices. The food, the, uh, the survey found, excuse me, 36% of survey respondents have reduced their savings by 21%, putting away less for retirement in order to keep up with costs. This is a critical, critical moment. So if you don't learn how money works and you keep staying in the paradigm that you need to work for money, you are going to end up in the middle class. And then the middle class, if you're not in the middle, if you're in the middle class, you're going to end up into the working poor. 
That's what's happening right now. This is not a scare tactic. This is happening. This is nothing new under the sun. To take a look at this, okay, this is our inflation calculator here. Since 1913, okay, I think that was the inception of the Federal Reserve. Uh, yeah, 1913, I believe. Then in 2022, so the cumulative inflation rate of your dollar, 2,820%. Think about the American worker and their productivity, how much we've produced and how more effective we become. OK, has your pay gone up two thousand eight hundred and twenty percent? Absolutely not. OK, think about that for just a moment. So U.S. inflation remains near the 40, 40 year high as April CPI tops expectations. So we're at a crazy tipping point right now. So Joe Biden, our president, to show he's in charge of inflation while showing someone else is in charge. So it's like, hey, guys, I'm working on inflation. No, you're not. But he's going to push the buck on somebody else. Well, the Federal Reserve, right? The Federal Reserve is the one that's supposed to be in charge of helping us stabilize this inflation problem and job stability. So let's listen to President Biden's statement around inflation. Uh, the nominee, but there's something I want you to listen to that I'm going to show you facts, figures, numbers, logic. I have a very brief statement. First, I want to begin by congratulating you, Mr. Chairman, on your recent confirmation of second term, along with uh, Drs. Brannard and Cook and Jefferson, recent confirmations. And um, uh, a meeting with Chairman today and Secretary Yellen uh, to discuss my top priority, and that is addressing inflation and, uh, and the, in order to transition from historic recovery <clears throat> to a steady growth that works for American families. Excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, my plan is to address inflation. It starts with a simple proposition. Respect the Fed. Respect the Fed's independence which I have done and will continue to do. My job as president is not to uh, nominate, highly, not only nominate highly, highly qualified individuals for that institution, but to give them the space they need to do their job. I'm not going to interfere with their critically important work. The Fed has dual responsibilities. One, full employment. Two, stable prices. Chair Powell and other leaders of the Fed have noted at this moment they have a laser focus on addressing inflation, just like I am. And with a larger complement of board members now confirmed, I know we'll use those tools and monetary policy to address the rising uh, prices for the American people. So I look forward to uh, Chairman Powell's continued leadership at the Fed, and I look forward to the Senate considering my final nominated board, uh, Michael Barr, in the near future. And uh, that's why we're meeting, folks, and thank you for coming in. Okay. So I wanted you to hear that last part right there. I would, oh, let me, let's, let's just listen to that one more time. Sorry, I'm moving my microphone here. So let's listen to that one more time. Kind of considering my final nominee to the board, uh, Michael Barr. In the near okay. So I would love the Senate to hear whatever he said. I would love for you to consider my final nominee, Michael Barr. Okay, so let's dive into this. So Biden to nominate Michael Barr as Fed bank regulator and second attempt to fill the spot. And he just throws it out here right here. He's like, hey, y'all get Michael Barr in there. Now, where does Michael Barr come from? So let's read this right here. Biden to nominate Michael Barr as Fed bank regulator is the second attempt to fill the spot. President Joe Biden will nominate Michael Barr to be the Fed's big bank regulator. Let me repeat that. President Joe Biden will nominate Michael Barr to be the Fed's Big banks regulator. Okay. So when Michael Barr gets nominated in, which he will, remember, don't forget, Rosie Rios, Rosie Rios is part of the Ripple board, correct? She signed the last $100 bill. She is responsible for bringing a new wave of currency. Michael Barr is a former treasury, okay, from liberal, uh, former, former, excuse me, from, from the treasury, former treasury, Join Ripple's board of directors. Okay, he's not a former board of director of Ripple. And they're nominating him to be the Fed's big bank regulator. So we have Rosie Rios, who signed the last $100 bill. Okay, she's now on the board of Ripple. Michael Barr was on the board of Ripple and now is being nominated to be the big bank regulator. Listen to what I'm saying, Warriors. This is how we make our investments in the Warrior Academy. 
We don't focus on a Sheba going to the moon. We don't give a shit about pump and dumps. We are fundamental long-term investors. This is education. This is a paradigm shift. We know the game. Doesn't mean we're not ever going to get played, but we understand the game so we can pick some winners. Sometimes we'll pick some losers. But like Warren Buffett said, if you got 20 investments after you got out of college and that's it, you'd be rich because you would focus, you would study, and that's what we do eight to nine hours a day. So think about that just a moment, Warriors. Inflation's out of control. And I'm going to show you why, why I believe the case is being stalled. So we've seen this, the ISO 200022 ecosystem. Okay. You have the I see the key thing I want you to see, hopefully you can see my mouse here. I want you to see this internal thing. I N A T B A founding members. These are the founding members. Remember that. Okay. IBM, Stellar, Accenture, Consensus. Uh, we got IOTA, Ripple, which is XRP, Interledger Protocol. We got R3, IBM and Stellar, which is XLM. XFIN, which is XDC, JP Morgan. Okay, you got Circle, Algorand, and Swift. These are all ones that we're familiar with, okay? So what is I-N-A-T-B-A? So if we go here, so remember we're on page seven here, okay? So we'll go back to that. I just want to show you. Okay, this is it right here. Okay. I-N-A-T-B-A, questionnaire and response. Okay, let's go back. So just to show you the logo here. International Association for Trusted Blockchain Applications. Let's go to page seven. All right, page seven. Hopefully I didn't lose this here. Okay, here we go. For a payment instrument to be near universal acceptance, universal acceptance and trusted, it needs to be available for everyone in the country. Achieving full inclusive, inclusivity is crucial for retail central bank digital currencies, but faces two Related challenges, identity and access. In their 2006 paper, A Blueprint for Digital Currencies, the World Economic Forum highlights the importance of building, building digital identity infrastructures for the future of financial infrastructure. The ECB will have to seek broad stakeholder engagement to solve the digital identity and access challenges. The hardest part of designing the new financial infrastructure the new financial infrastructure that I've been telling you is going to be brand new by 2025 is developing the protocols and processes in a robust, resilient way. There are compatible, not just with legacy systems. This is so critical that are, are compatible with not just legacy systems, but also with future requirements. They're bridging the gap between Web 2.0 and Web 3.0 from industrial to technology. We're literally right in the middle of a massive change and in investing in the technologies and future financial systems that are going to change the world. However, from a macro prudential view, a known challenge is the dis, 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 mediation, dis, dis mediation, mediation of banks and particularly its impact on the loan deposit ratio. This is why they're stalling warriors. It is likely that this ratio will become more volatile over time across the banking sector. sector. But listen to what I'm saying, but particularly disrupting universal banks. Furthermore, a search for yield, yield, okay? Interest rates are going up. For example, bank interest rates, bank interest rates are skyrocketing could have an unexpected negative effect in the financial system where money transfers can instantly be made from another bank to a higher or to another bank account with higher interest rates. Consumers will seek to maximize their yield. Okay, they're worried about a modern day bank run. That's exactly what they're talking about here. That's why they hate decentralized finance that is decentralized because if someone else has a higher bank rate, I can move my money at the speed of light instead of put it through the SWIFT system. The SWIFT system is old, archaic, and slow. So if I wanted to move a million dollars to another bank to get a higher yield, it's a longer process. It, it, it's a hassle. It's not a hassle anymore when Ripple XRP gets implemented. It's not a hassle. It's easy, breezy, and beautiful, Warriors. That's why this is all being delayed. They have no idea yet how to regulate this properly so they can stop a modern day bank run. And you, you are involved in this. Isn't that great to understand? Now, are all they, all, I don't know if all of them are going to win, Warriors. I show my exact portfolio. I don't know if all my cryptos are going to win, but I do know that this is how we do our investing. We understand who's moving around the system. We understand people like Michael Barr used to be part of the board for Ripple, and now he's going to be the big bank regulator. 
Rosie Rios came from the Treasury, who was responsible for moving in a new currency. And she's now on the board of Ripple and says the freight train has left the building and cryptocurrency is here to stay. Lawyers, get off these pump and dump YouTubers. Get off these pump and dump podcasters. Get off these pump and dump TikTok people who are just trying to get followers worse. We're working to build generational wealth. This is not a game. Our lives are not a game. F everything that's happening in the world. You are in control right now. Now you have knowledge. This is not power. Knowledge is not power. If knowledge is power, librarians would be the richest people in the world. Business professors would be the richest people in the world. Knowledge is not power. Your paradigm shift is power. We teach that money mindset in the academy. This is power. When you shift your paradigm out from the indoctrination system and understand that you are the frequency, that you are the money, that you are the answer, that's when you become wealthy. All right. I'll get off my soapbox. Click the description down below. Everything you need is there. I love you. I appreciate you. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go.